Shark Cordless Vacuum Cleaner. I've unboxed it. I've reviewed it. Should I keep it? What were your thoughts on the Shark Cordless Duo Clean Vacuum Cleaner? So first of all, if you haven't watched my other two videos, I've done an unboxing, I've done a stress test on this cleaner, the Shark Cordless Duo Clean, and this is the True Pet model. So I would encourage you to watch those two videos before you watch this. I don't want to spoil anything for you. So I'll give you a few seconds to go on to those videos now. Okay, if you're still here, then that's your fault. So now I'm gonna talk more about the Shark Cordless Duo Clean. I'm in two minds about this. I think there are some really cool features about this vacuum cleaner, but I also feel it's a little bit underwhelming when you have a look at all the marketing and you think what you're promised. And I've actually looked at other reviews of this cleaner as well. And to be honest with you, I was led to believe that this was you know, an amazing cleaner on both hard floors and carpets. And uh, I got mixed results. I feel like the Dysons that I've owned in the past, the V6, the V8 and the V10, I still have the V8 and the V10. I feel like they're more expensive cleaners. They have less features than the Shark, but I feel like each one of those features are executed a little bit more elegantly, let's say. For example, if we look at the design of the Shark versus the design of the Dyson V10 or the V8, in terms of the weight, they're quite similar, but this one feels a lot heavier. The reason for that, I think, is the way that Dyson evenly distribute the weight around a different center of gravity, it feels a lot lighter in your wrist. So, you know, you can tell a lot of design effort went into that. But on the other hand, the Shark has way more innovative features so I do like this one too. I feel like the Shark is less maneuverable than the Dysons. Personally I think that most people would probably prefer the Dyson as their go-to cleaner and I think it's because people tend to prefer from what I've noticed less features, something a bit more simple great marketing and what feels like a premium product. So I think that's why probably the Dysons, they probably do outsell the Sharks. I know I know they definitely do in the UK. It seems to me that the Shark, even though it is a good product, it doesn't feel like a luxury product like the Dyson does. So, but as a matter of fact, at the same time I say that, this feels more robustly made. Like, you know, just like when you handle it, you could just feel that it, it feels a little bit more robust. Am I keeping my V8 and my V10 Dysons? Now I'm in two minds about this because every single cordless Dyson vacuum cleaner I've had to date has gone wrong in some way or another. For me, the Dysons, they tend to get very clogged up and the V10 so far for me has been the worst one out of all the Dysons that I've had. Now I know a lot of you are thinking, have you cleaned it? I have cleaned my V8 and V10 that I currently own. I have cleaned them top to bottom multiple times. Like I've taken the thing apart, I've unscrewed all the bits. I have literally cleaned it top to bottom multiple times, but no matter what I do, after a few years of use now, they get clogged up within a few uses. I, I'm getting problems again. I have to re-clean it and re-clean it and re-clean it. And I have multiple filters. I have three filters. So I'm constantly changing these filters and I'm still getting funny smells. I'm still having to clean it. So for me, maybe it's, it's telling me that there's something not quite right with the Dyson's design in terms of the longevity. The other thing I don't like about the, the Dyson vacuum cleaners is that they tend not to have like swappable batteries. Like you see, this shark here has a swappable battery so I have two of these so when this runs out I could just whack this one straight back on and then I'm good to go and you don't really get that with the Dysons I think one model might have a swappable battery but most of them don't and to me it seems a bit like well look Dyson have been doing this cordless venture for about a decade now and 
they never seem to give you this swappable battery option. So it kind of means to me that they always want you to have a bit of a problem with your battery life. You know, whether they want you to buy a new machine entirely, they want you to consider it, or they want you to ring them up and get a replacement sent, I don't know. But to me, it looks like it's a, it's a planned thing. The other thing I don't like about the Dysons that I've had is that the cleaning head it's not that great on hard floors. It's good on carpets, but it's not that good on hard floors. They sell you a separate hard floor cleaning head, but I don't think every single Dyson model has that included in the box. I think you have to get a special package to get that. I've got that, but I just think it's annoying because like, if you have a house where you've got hard floor in one room and carpet in another room, you keep having to, to change the head and most people I know most people will probably just keep the multi head on the one that's good for carpets and kind of good for hard floors so that bothers me a little bit about the Dyson the other thing that bothers me is that I feel like the the Dyson models today the cordless ones they're not nearly as durable from my perspective as the ones that they used to sell you know back in the day when Dyson was a more of a upcoming new brand and they made like the best vacuums or one of the best vacuums and like those Dysons that I've owned in the past they never went wrong they never had any funny smells coming out of it and these cordless ones I get nothing but trouble with them if you're having problems with your Dyson leave your comments below I want to see if it's just me but on the other hand I also feel like the Dysons they are a little bit more minimalist in terms of their design approach and I think a lot of people will like that. So am I keeping the shark? I have to admit so far there are a few things that I do like about the shark. First thing is the duo clean head. I really like the duo clean head because it means that you can you know with a click of a button you just press this button here you just go into that mode that's for your hard floors and that mode, that's for your carpets. And it's as simple as that. You just press a button, the duo clean head does everything for you. And that's why I like it. I like the anti hair wrap technology. That's very good if you have lots of hairs in your house. You might have a pet, for example, or you know, somebody's leaking hair. I don't know who that might be. I also like that the Shark is a sealed system as well, which means that it is good for allergy sufferers. So the air, the dirty air that is going in, isn't leaking out of the vacuum cleaner. I've had problems with other vacuums before where I, I'm an allergy sufferer, so I can kind of pick it up with my nose. And so far, haven't seen any problems with the Shark just yet, but time will tell how well that seal will last. I also like how robust the shark feels you know not just in the hand but in use all the tools that come with it feel very good i also like the headlights on the cleaner you don't get that on a dyson do you you might think oh well that's just a gimmick personally i do think it does look cool it looks a bit like a sports car or something but i think that if you're cleaning up poorly lit areas it's very good and you'd be surprised how much dirt that you can see or i should say how much extra dirt you can see when you've got the headlights on. It literally shows like your floor could look clean. You put the headlights on and you can see there's actually lots of dirt on your floor and you should really vacuum it. I like the unique features of the Shark as well. I think they're very innovative, like the flexology wand that I showed you in the previous uh, videos. It's good for storing the Shark. You can just, it literally goes like that big, like maybe a bit bigger than that, about that big which is really nice if you're short on space. And you can also use it as a flexology tool. So if you're vacuuming under like a piece of furniture, you don't have to bend over. You just bend the hose and then, you know, use your wrist. And it's really easy to use. You know, what, what's, not like, what's not to like about that? I thought it would be a bit of a gimmick when I saw it on the adverts. In use, I'm using it all the time. So that's good. I also like the unique accessories that shark sell like the dusting brush thing with a rotation you know it comes in the box usually when you buy a vacuum cleaner what do you get you get what is it the crevice tool and then you might get like a what do you get it's like a, like a 
what is it? It's for cleaning staircases, like a, I don't even know what they call that. But that's usually what you get. I think with the Shark, I might have got four or five different accessories, which I think is really good. So that's good. And if you go on the Shark website, you're gonna find like at least five other or 10 other accessories there. And some of them look very good, which I'm gonna actually buy. I'm gonna review on this channel as well. Another thing I really like about the Sharks is they're generally less expensive than the Dysons. Like I got my one for 299. It, it's a pet model, so it's got all the HEPA filtration. I think it's pre-motor and post-motor filtration. Um, what else? It comes with a bunch of accessories. It comes with a mini motorized tool. It comes with the Duo Clean head, which I think is very unique. And my one came with two batteries, not one. So what's not to like about that? Another thing that I quite like about it is they, the one that I've got has a five year warranty. Just make sure, right, make sure that you register your warranty online on the Shark website within, well, they say within 28 days. I registered mine two months after I bought it and it did work. But it says in the booklet at the back, within 28 days. So just to stay on the safe side, register it, and then you'll get your five year warranty, but it is two years warranty on the batteries. Another thing I like about the Shark is that it's not a Dyson. And I think like for the last five to 10 years, the only option, like seriously, one of the only options that people have in that segment of the market, like the mid to premium segment of the market is Dyson, Dyson, Dyson. You know, with the corded vacuums, there were a lot. There was a lot more competition, but with the cordless, I think it's just been Dyson for the last five to ten years. And I think now the Sharks are actually making some good machines. I think that that is uh, is very good. It's good to have competition. I have to admit, I think the Shark is a little bit less powerful than the Dyson in terms of the airflow. And um, you know, I'll, I'll just test it now so you can see. You know, just going on feeling alone, it is definitely decent. It's not bad. I wouldn't say it's bad. But I feel like the Dysons, maybe they just suck that little bit, a little bit harder. Um, but at the same time, I also feel like the Dysons, they overstate. They tend to overstate how powerful their machines are. They are powerful, but let's be honest, they're never going to be as powerful as a corded, a proper corded vacuum. You know, they might be able to boost temporarily to a high suction power, but they're never going to be as powerful as a proper corded. So um, I wouldn't buy the marketing gimmicks that they like to put out there. Do I think the Shark has too many features? Personally, I don't think it has too many features. I'm the type of person that likes multiple features. I like to have lots of things that the, the machine can do. But I think a lot of people would prefer less features. So yeah, I would agree. It's really up to you. I didn't feel that the shark did very well with my stress test. If you watch in my second video of this series, I put a bunch of stuff on the floor, on uh, gym matting, on carpet and hard floors. You know, I did a lot of stuff. I didn't feel like it, very, it coped very well with my stress test. But it is a stress test, right? You know, it's not real world conditions. It's just a stress test that catches a lot of vacuum cleaners out that I've tested in the past. So um, yeah, it didn't do very well with that. I think the Dyson would have had it on that one. However, in real world cleaning, I think that the Shark has actually been a pleasure to use. I have another 10 days to return the cleaner because we have extended returns over the Christmas break and New Year. And at the moment, I'm leaning towards keeping it. I do think I should keep it because so far I've been quite impressed with it. I'm about, I'm about 70, 80% impressed with it. I thought it was gonna be a bit better, but in use, I'm seeing the benefits. And so far, I think it is cleaning our hard floors a little bit better than the Dysons. It takes us a little bit less time to clean with the Shark. The container seems a bit wider and bigger, so it doesn't fill up so quickly. And the Flexology wand I really like, so yeah. All these things are making me kind of 70, 80%, I'm gonna keep it. And this brings me to my final comment. If you have hard floors in your house, 
I would lean towards the shark if you have hard floors in your house. The Dyson can do it, but I think the sharks can do it a little bit better. If you have primarily carpets in your house, I would lean towards the Dysons because I feel like the Dysons clean the carpets better and that extra suction is gonna help, or well, the extra airflow, I should say, is gonna help suck up that those mini particles, the dust and all those little particles within your carpets, the suction is important for that. So I would say carpet, go for the Dyson. Now, if you have mixed flooring, so if you have like some hard flooring, some carpet, like what we used to have, now we've got all hard floors pretty much. So, um, but if you have mixed flooring, I would say lean towards the shark because you just got that duo clean head you're going to use it on both you're not going to have to swap as well and so far the duo clean head has done quite a good job on carpet on the on the on the rug that i've tested it on it's fine you know it's good i think the dyson might be just a tad better on that but the Di the dyson is also worse than the shark at hard floors so yeah i would recommend it so guys i want to know what you think about this should I keep the shark or should I get rid of it? Is there something that I'm not considering? Maybe I should know. Maybe one of you guys, maybe you have this shark and maybe it's broken down. And if I keep seeing that, then ooh, you know, let me know as soon as you can before I keep it for good and then realize actually it's not a good product. But yeah, thanks for watching the video. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe already. I've been waiting for you and I will see you next time.